All right, people, gather around because what I'm about to show you isn't just a game changer when it comes to control panel wiring. This is bigger than that. It's a whole mindset shift, a technical enlightenment. And for me, it's now a life philosophy. And this will completely change the way you tackle all repetitive tasks that haunt every corner of your life when technology and automation aren't an option. I mean, who wants to be involved in endless repetitive tasks that go on and on and on? And yeah, the idea well i certainly don't and i'm sure you guys don't either now this golden nugget of wisdom and i'm not going to go full life hack mode on you with this is going to change your life blah blah but this came to me courtesy of kev an engineering wizard who helped me speed up those mind-numbing chores i had to do as an apprentice back in the day and kev really did shift the gears in my brain on how to approach repetitive tasks so this isn't your average run-of-the-mill panel wiring video of course there's going to be some juicy control panel wiring stuff too but it's more about rewiring your mind to efficiently blast through tasks so guys the repetitive task that i'm faced with is getting cables from these plc units up to these terminal blocks so i need to cut a single bit of cable going from here up to here for 10 wires here and 12 cables over here. And there's two methods that I wanna run you through. First one being the dumb method, and this is the method that I use, and I think most people use when they first start out building control panels. And the first step is to measure out the cable length. So let's start here at the terminal block, get a nice swoop in there, and we're coming to about here. And then we're gonna mark that with our finger and thumb, and then cut it. The next step is we've got to put a cable ident on the cable. So let's do that now. Okay, that's them on. Let's just line them up nicely. There's one, there's two. Next stage is we've got to strip, get a ferrule on the end and then crimp them. Move the ident down. And then the final stage is we can terminate it. So that's one done. Now I need to repeat this process 10 times. So let me do that now. So as you can see guys, that's quite a slow, laborious process doing each individual cable and each step one thing at a time. And what I found, the longer that something like this goes on, the repetitive task, the less attention I have, my mind starts to drift. And then what happens is naturally, mistakes come into the thing that you're doing. So obviously in this case, control panel. So when I get to the testing phase, there's lots more faults that I need to iron out because I've just had a lapse in concentration, my mind's gone elsewhere and I've not been thinking about about the task in hand because it's repetitive and boring. boring. Now, before we jump into the smart method, let me call upon Chris from the future for a sec. So I'm just gonna leave quickly and let Chris from the future take over. Okay, so this is Chris from the future now and I can reveal that using the smart method will reduce your wiring time by 31% doing it the dumb method. I know I haven't revealed any times yet and we're gonna go through that once I've been through the smart method with you. But here's a little challenge. In the comments, let me know what you think time-wise it takes to do the dumb method and also how long you think it takes to do the smart method. Put your money where your mouth is and leave it in the comments and I'll reveal what those times are in a little bit. So just before we get into the 
smart method and this is a philosophy that I really do apply for everyday life. Every task that I have to do is repetitive and boring and laborious. I try and employ this method and this is that method that Kev when I was an apprentice told me about and the premise goes something like it's far quicker to do one thing 10 times than it is to do 10 things once. So practically speaking what does that look like? So you've seen what that looks like doing it the dumb way doing 10 things one time like we did with those cables there but now let's employ the smart method of doing one thing one task 10 times and let's see how they compare okay so the first step of the smart method we're going to go from the furthest point here on the terminal blocks to the furthest point here on the plc and we're going to measure that cable and cut it to length so something like that so let's mark that with our finger and cut it to length. So the next stage, and this is how we're gonna do the cutting of the lengths differently, is like this. So we got our master one, we find the right length for the next, and we just do this 10 times. The next number is a five for six of these cables. So I'm doing that in a similar way for six of the cables. So eight, five is the identification at the moment. On the other end, I'm shaking because I'm trying to do this quickly and it's slowing me down. The other cables, the other four cables have a six next. So let's do that now. So eight, six these identifications are. Doesn't help that my hands are freezing cold as well, so that might be hindering this method slightly. And then the final third identification number are all gonna be individual. So I'm gonna work through the eight five cables first and then the eight six cables. Okay, so that's the first lot of cables, the eight five cables, now onto the eight six cables. So next step is onto the stripping, ferruling and crimping. And notice how I do this, is I keep all of them in one hand and I won't put any cable down until it's all done on this end. So let's go through that now. Now same on the other end. Ferrules on, now to crimp them. Okay, there's them done. Final little bit is just to pull the ferrule, sorry, the eye dents to the end. Okay, so it's done. Okay, and then the final step is obviously terminating them. Okay guys, so the time reveal. So the dumb method, that took 15 minutes 51 and the smart method took 10 minutes 58 so let's just say that that's 16 and 11 minutes which is a saving of five minutes doing it this smart method way and i've done the maths guys that is reducing it by 31 percent so doing it the smart method compared to the dumb method reduces the time spent by 31%. So let's just go through the maths of that. So five minutes 
divided by 16 minutes. I got my calculator out equals 0.31 times that by 100 which gives us our percentage equals 31%. Now just to double check that and I've got my calculator here if we have that 16 minutes and we take off minus 31% that equals 11 minutes 04. So our maths checks out. Back to that 11 minutes it took us to do the smart method. So now let's use another example, 20 cables rather than 10, so 20 cables. And this doing it the dumb method will take us 32 minutes. So 32 minutes minus 31%. And I've got my calculator here, so let's do that. 32 minus 31%, and that equals 22 minutes approximately so we're saving 10 minutes so you can see guys doing it the smart method rather than the dumb method saves us time and the more things that we do will save us more time now guys i'm sure the maths doesn't break down precisely in that way depending on whether we do less or we do more but it's really just to illustrate a point that thinking about things in this way using this method to do one thing 10 times rather than doing 10 things one time is a much quicker way to approach most repetitive laborious tasks and this way of thinking is something that I apply to everything that I do in life if I can try and streamline something make it into almost a production line where I'm doing that one single task ten times and then moving on to the next task and doing that ten times all I want to do really is to just encourage you to think about doing tasks in this way using this smart one thing ten times method and I'm sure it will streamline a lot of the things that you do and make them more time efficient. And guys, if you're not already a member of our private Facebook community, and this is where we help individuals develop skills, knowledge, and understanding to help advance their careers or business in the world of controls and automation, then I recommend you click the link in the description. And if you're interested to see how a control panel has been built from scratch, then I think you'll like this video right here.